Hey, this is Nick Hess, the Apple Campus Rep here at CU Boulder. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install CU's Virtual Private Network Client on your Mac and use it to access some of CU's libraries. First, point your browser to CU's ITS website at colorado.edu slash ITS. From here, you'll go down on the main page and in the middle there, there'll be a link for the Virtual Private Network. VPN. The second link on this page is going to be for the software download. Scroll down to the middle of the page and you'll find the Macintosh versions here for Mac OS 10.4 or 10.5, that's Leopard and Tiger. And the first link there will be to download the client. It might ask you for your CU Connect login and password and also to agree to these terms. And then your download will start. Once the download is complete, you'll see that the disk image has showed up on your desktop and the VPN client folder has hopefully opened up for you. Run that main package and it's going to start the installer to put VPN on your Mac. You'll continue through these steps, agree to the terms, and pick a location for the software to install. Then you'll click install, put in a password, and it'll start the installation. Once installed, you'll be able to find the VPN client under your main hard drive and in the Applications folder. It will probably be at the very bottom here called VPN Client and go ahead and run that application. From here we'll be able to get access to multiple versions of CU servers for VPN either for on-campus from a ResNet or for this example an off-campus location. Then we'll just go up here to the connect button and it'll ask us for a CU login and password. Once connected, you'll know because you'll see this little lock icon next to the server you're connected to. That's pretty much all you need to do for the VPN. You can leave it running or you can also go up here and choose to hide the VPN client to put it in the background. That's pretty useful too. From here, you'll go to any browser and get access to CU's libraries by going to ucblibraries.colorado.edu. From here, they've got some really great resources, and I usually play around with a little bit. Uh, they have a great how-to section um, where you can figure out how to do just about anything, uh, from find books to articles. Um, the three main options you're going to be dealing with on the university libraries are going to be the Chinook. Uh, the Prospector uh, for finding physical books that Norlin might have and also the Interlibrary Loan. For the most part, you'll probably be using the Chinook database. Um, and it's really easy to just search for, let's say, a uh, topic of our choice. From here it'll give you a list of tons of different information, books, articles, and you'll also see on the side here if the status is available it will be able to be available immediately in some sort of Google preview. So these are what I really like. So we click on this Google preview here and we can actually see page by page the actual reference of the book or the article. This is pretty cool. So we can scroll through the text, find stuff you need, zoom in and out. It's a pretty great system. You can also go back, and go to start over here, and just search articles by name or topic. This is a really great system here too. For example, we can find some music, they have some great online recordings, and even some classical music libraries. Lots of really cool stuff here. Let's find some Chopin maybe. Yeah, here we go. And you can just click on any of the works. And since you're connected through the VPN client, and this is always running, you'll have access to all this information. And again, you can find articles, books, music, tons of different stuff for whatever you're studying. 
So that's the CU libraries. Most of you will probably be pretty acquainted with it already. And that's how you use the VPN client to access some of CU's libraries.